How's it going guys? Indulger here with another Fire Emblem Heroes video for you. This is Ether Rage Week 47 Day 4. Got pretty lucky. Just on the fringe of the cooldown expiring, we got a loss. Didn't count. We'll check back in. I said that last yesterday too. I never did check back in. But we'll try to remember to check back in to see if something came in after we make today's video. Alright, uh, before we get going, I guess let me walk and talk. Um, show the teams, but uh, I strongly urge everyone to look at the latest Fey channel. One dropped out of nowhere yesterday. Um, there is some good news and some bad news. Let me start off with the good news. Good news is we're getting a new mode. I don't actually remember what the name of it is, but it's a mode where you just take a bunch of set people. In this case, it's going to be Alm, Celica, Bowie, and May at like level 10, and you build them up and you get new skills, you sort of spend stamina like any other mode that regenerates over time, it's like three times a day. And um, yeah, it looks pretty interesting. I'm, I'm, hoping to I'm hoping to cover that in this channel um, when that drops. Looks like a really interesting mode. Uh, the bad news is, uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna do some mock battles today, so let me set that up while I talk, like I said. Uh, the bad news is we now have a new thing called Duo Heroes, which but on its face doesn't sound too bad. Duo Heroes does seem to eliminate the infantry pulse cancer we've been talking about in this channel for months. And I even mentioned it yesterday in my comment. I said, I, I is going to have to release a skill that causes an HP drain on turn one so you can eliminate infantry pulse. And what do you know? The next day they did it. So I'm hoping you can use that skill in AR because that's going to destroy all this infantry pulse cancer. It's all gone, guys, Like, which is really great. I'm happy for that. I know I use Infantry Pulse on my um, defense team, but let's get, that, let's, get, let's get that out of the game. I'm happy to do that. Um, but yeah, the bad news is that now these... <laughs> We're going to fight Tio, by the way. Tio's been waiting a while. Let's get that out of the game. But um, the, the overall bad news is these, these dual, uh, duo heroes now... <laughs> count for 185 PST in things like Arena, which is a major slap in the face to anybody who just like pulled Veronica like on this banner, or the Mythic banner with green dual flying. Like that only counts for 170. Why would I bother doing that when I, there's 185, just another gift to the whales, I guess. It's not a great thing, but uh, I don't know. Enough talk, let's fight. So I've queued up Tio here. Tio's been waiting patiently. When I did my Ike, versus the World Series uh, a few weeks ago, which, check that out, by the way. Look at my channel. I fought basically everyone on my friends list um, with Ike, and I think he went basically 30 for 2 or something like that. And uh, But Tio was in the middle of crafting this team, and they locked it down so I couldn't fight them. So we're going to take a look at what they've got today. It's pretty fun. They've got an Ishtar with her default stuff with air orders. I don't, I've never been a big fan of ploys. I, I see Tio's got ploys on Makaya and Gunther. I don't like ploys. I hate them. It's one thing in the game I've always been consistent about is my, on my stance is ploys. I don't like them. They just never seem to do what I want, especially in a defensive setting. But that aside, we've got a Keaton with Vantage, Distant Counter, always scary. Don't see a lot of Keatons anymore, but when you do, you've got to be careful. Uh, Lilina, and then a Fjorm. She's got built-in Dazzling. What does she have? Nope. So I actually can counter her. I don't I don't need something like a no counter or disrupt Ike for this set, but we're going to play it. I'm going to do a couple iterations of this. I'm going to show you what happens when I just go up in the middle and I'll try the side. So let's see what Ike can do. With no thought required, let's just push Ike up there. And then... Maybe lateral left because, I don't know, to get that pot. Yes, yes, yes. This is going to be pretty close. I tested this right before we started. So Keaton's going to thrash us. One of the problems here, we don't kill him. Is Ike's just too fast. <laughs> right, he one shot on the retaliation there. Oh, Ishtar almost got us, but... Not enough. All right. 
So this looks pretty bleak because I can't, I have to get rid of that Ishtar, so I have to do something like that. Keaton's gone, no one's in range. We can finish that Micaiah. We'll eventually be able to just step up there. This is a pretty nasty set. It's got air orders and ground orders. I'm going to show you, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to do this one more time from a different side. Yeah, I can't get that quite yet because you're coming. So I know, well, I know that's not the trap because I've played it, but if it was the trap, I would have to throw Lucina down here to, to take that hit. And there you go. Oh, that was worth the wait, Tio. <laughs> Fortunately, you couldn't beat Ike. So like, we're going to do it one more time. Shouldn't have quit there. I want to show you, Tio, if I go to the left, what happens? So you, I can actually do this immediately. So this is this is an example of how Ike performs without um, Lucina by his side. I didn't even get res boost on him. Oops. Oh well. Oh, I was going to mention, yeah, I, I forgot again. I, was gonna, I already mentioned it twice now. Alright, Ishtar is dead. So I, I, I forgot about it, but there's an interesting trap here with um, ground orders. If you try to take this pot, what happens is that Fjorm restores here, and then Melina can jump over this lava and hit you from there. I, I thought that was interesting. Let me show that. <laughs> when we're done here, but okay. So if you go left, I like this. I like building maps where sort of you just get a rush, especially with horse, um, with cavalry. We can rush down the middle here. Uh, I'm a big fan of that type of setup. But we've still got Ike, so I'm just gonna throw Ike there. Now I can actually put Lucina there. And I'm still protected on the left side. Keaton won't fall again. But thankfully, Ike is an unstoppable force and he's just not going to go down. See, nobody can kill Keaton though, so Ike's going to have to do it. I don't know what I would actually do in a real situation. I would probably go up the middle because I'm just arrogant with Ike, I guess. I don't know. But that was really close. And then that, that's it. So let me show you this trap that he set up. Or she. T, I don't know. I don't know your gender. I'm sorry. I always make these assumptions. Uh, yeah, let's try this. So I just want to show you this trap real quick. You just sit here. There's a restore trap ground orders combo, which I've never seen, which is really fun. <laughs> so, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that, T.O. Let me know, uh, any comments for me, but, uh, all right, so that's the appetizer for the day. Like I said, we're going to try to do a mock battle every day. Shining Luna, what's up, man? What's going on, buddy? Don't you want to play with us? Turn it on. <laughs> All right, we got some new faces here. Um, we'll get to them later in the week. But All right, so today is day four. That is the day we want to use 50, right? Let me do my math real quick. So we're going to use... 50, 170, 180. Yep, we're going to just fight public 50 today. Make sure that my main core is looking good. It's looking good. Let's give it a shot. I've got a Sothis. 
Sothis? Man, I, I always forget how to pronounce her name. I think it's Sothis. Deflect magic. Well, that's not gonna help. With Ike. Don't you know I'm using Ike? We've got, ooh, a hardy bearing alm. That is not something I want to see. That is something that will shut down Ike. So I gotta be careful to avoid him as long as I can. But then there's an Lucina coming down the center here. Ooh. One dancer. Still got, yeah, no follow up hardy bearing Ike is something I don't want to see. Can they come down here? One, two, dance, one, two, hit here. I think if I go this way, I'm fine. There's no problem there. Maybe we do want to use a different setup other than team one. Maybe we do want to go something like Aversa because any visible buffs? There's a visible buff. Wow, that's an expensive skill. Didn't she come with attack speed solo? That's a very expensive skill. So basically it comes down to, do I want to use triple air or do I want to use a Versa? Triple air. I just like the healing. It's really the healing that I want. I want the 30 HP a turn. This, I gotta be honest with you, I could, me I could mess up here. Especially since I can't seem to hide everyone I want. One, two, one, two, danger zone here. At least it's not a cancer Azura. I guess let's go there. I need to go over to the right at some point to get the ether, but until Alm's gone, I kind of want to clump together. What the hell are you going to do, Lucina? You've been ruining everything for me. Is there any way you can get that far down there? I don't think so, because you're going to be targeting Ike immediately. The of life. I don't like it. I don't like it. But we're going to see what happens. As is normally the case. She goes down very easily. Okay, well, drawback's kind of helpful. If I move up, Alm's going to hit here and then get a chance to dance. So... Not a big fan of that. I'm getting no buffs now. It's turn two. I guess we're going to keep Sylvia alive. Yes. Hmm. The easy thing seems to be to just come here, hit Julia. Julia will die. Mirror impact, so I need to follow up in one shot. Thankfully, you just have such pitiful defense. Well, you're trying to patch it with Sturdy Blow. 23, 64. Uh, I still think you're dead. I hope so. Let's do that. What about you, Alm? 1, 2, 1, 2. Ooh, it's really close. Dorcas should go first, block that, Alm comes here, Alm gets danced, one, two, get right in my face. I think that's what will happen. Yep. Ah, okay, never mind, that's not, Dorcas went there and not there. So Alm's chilling out. <laughs> Gotta get rid of him. The of life. Can't kill Dorcas. Don't really see a lot of him at all. Wings of Mercy? Wings of Mercy. 
Hmm. I need to one shot you. 72 bulk. Yeah, maybe I won't be able to do that. 72 bulk. I'm probably going to get 6, 66. But I've got an ether active. This should be enough. How much speed do you have? 43 speed. Really bad attack. Gale force. Yes. The of what is hitting me? Wow, a level 3 flyer school. I'm in bad position. I can't do anything to help Ike here. Guess I could move up Lucina, reposition. Swap, Ike, hit Dorcas, take out the dancer. But then we have Alm left over? Nobody wants that. I wish I could kill him there. Yes. What's the problem? You're just three attack short. The of life. Your and Lucina can't shove anyone. Although the only person she could shove is that air, which would put her there, which if I could attack Dorcas here. I could do that. It's risky though. What if I screw up somewhere? I move this air here. Shove air there. Ike comes there. Seems unnecessarily risky. Like why? I don't like it. Turn three. Okay, I could do this and then smite up here, but again, I'm going to kill both of them and leave an alm around. I don't really want to do that. If I move here, all three of them are going to die, so I can't do that. I think we need to come up here and block this. That's the that's the only move I really see. That way it can keep Sylvia alive. Alm shouldn't be able to hit us. We should have enough time to do what we need to do. I hope so. There's way too much thinking for this. Yes. Oh god, why am I stuck? Oh no! <laughs> the hacking room's gonna kill me! <laughs> I didn't even see the tactics room. Lots well, of scary sight here. Okay. Well, if we get rid of that. I've now lost my ether. Yes. I guess let's break that. 41 speed. It's turning out to be very complex. I'm just very scared of this alm. Yes. This is really my only play. Understood. What's next? Where's my smite at? So I can smite Lucina all the way up there if I wanted to. What does that do me? 
Lucina down. No, that doesn't. I need to get rid of that structure. Okay, I could break this with Ike. I could smite air up, but then what does that do me? I need to bait the Sylvia. Bait the Sylvia, that should be good enough. I'm running out of time. That's unfortunate. She does have Gale Force. Shouldn't trigger for a while. Six. Should have got rid of the flyer school. Next, it's next, turn seven next time. I want Air to get this. I'm hoping Sylvia will stay where she's at, but if she doesn't, what what happens then? She did move. And I can't kill you. Well, all right, I have to do some math because what if I fail? What if Ike fails to kill Sylvia? I can smite. Death's Screw math, let's just hope and pray. Yes. Understood. It's all for you. Yikes, that was tough, man. That was tough. When you got alms that <laughs> have hardy bearing yeah, you, you just you tread carefully. Even Ike, even Ike has a weakness, guys. That's his kryptonite. Yikes! Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe to see daily Ether raids fights, including some mock battles. If you want to be in the mock battle list, let me know. I guess I uh, was told yesterday that you don't drop in rank in uh, arena, so. I've been hanging on to people for a long time, assuming they were still playing and the game was just not reporting correctly. I was assuming it was like AR and you drop arena rank if you are inactive, but that is not the case. So I should have some open slots for anybody who's in tier 21 arena, or uh, AR rather, and you want to be featured on the channel. Let me know. I'll do my best to add you. And we'll have some fun. So thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, take care. Bye-bye.